So Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2, I'm sort of on the fence on how I feel about it. In a lot of ways, I thought it improved on the first season, but in a lot of ways, I feel like the ending and the weird pacing affected it in, um, in negative ways. But let's first talk about the good um, of Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2. Um, I loved how this season they used more practical effects and less CGI. You know, the original film trilogy, if you go back and watch it, uh, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness, they used a lot of practical effects and that were revolutionary for the time. And if you watch season one of Ash vs. Evil Dead, uh, as much as I liked it, there was a lot of uh, CGI used. And in season two, they used a lot more practical effects, more props, and I really think it's good that they got back to the roots as far as that's concerned. Uh, I loved this season, too, because they gave Ash a deeper characterization. You know, Ash, you know, we've liked him as a hero for a long time, but we never really, uh, it's never really been brought to mind how uh, people reacted to him coming back to Michigan after, you know, he killed all those people in the cabin. They just assumed he was crazy and killing everybody. So this season really did a good job with that, telling, you know, the world building as far as, um, and not only the world building, but the characterization for Ash. And that's another thing as well. The world building in this season was great. You know, Ash vs. Evil, Evil Dead Season 1, yeah, it seemed like uh, it seemed like a more smaller journey. Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 seemed like it opened the world a little bit more and gave us a, more of an insight into it. Uh, we also got to see the new setting work well. It's cool to go back to, um, go back to Ash's hometown, meet Chet, meet his old buddies, you know. And see how things had changed and see the rivalries like um, his rivalry with uh, Sheriff Emery still uh, blossoming and still blooming. And, uh, so that was fantastic. And I really think that there was a few standout episodes also for Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 that um, really set it apart from Season 1. Uh, such as uh, Home Again and Ashy Slashy. Those episodes just for me were some of the most wonderful episodes of television I've seen in a long time. So... Um, despite the weird pacing, there were really good episodes. And I would say an also, also another positive for the show, too, is they had plot twists plenty of times, especially in uh, Home Again, uh, Delusion, and Ashy Slashy. Like, who would have expected Ash to go back to the past to change things and bring Pablo back? Who would have believed that Ash was actually playing along with Ball's plan the whole entire time to put the tracker in him? You know, I thought he was actually crazy, and I really think the writers did a great job um, providing those plot twists in big, big ways and meaningful ways, um, and all th and another you know thing I can just mention on the side too is there's more depth for depth for Ruby as a character this season that we got to see, which was uh, great because she, um, her character always just seemed like a bad person who was never really fleshed out well, and she's really fleshed out, no pun intended, this season. Now I will talk about the bad though real quick before I give my final score. The Astros Evil Dead season two did not have good pacing. Um, especially towards the center of the season. There's a few episodes where I uh, liked them, but they just felt weird and kind of shoehorned in there, whereas season one flowed a lot better. Um, I would also say the last episode was not as good as it should have been, and they got into all these different uh, consistency issues with uh, the time time and how it's relative and such and how things don't change even when you change the past. So. Um, is a weird ending, and apparently there's an alternative ending they were going to do, which I think would have been much better, but uh, th th I guess the two negatives I have for Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 are the weird pacing and odd ending. Overall, I enjoyed it. Uh, you know, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 was phenomenal. It was still, it's still one of the best shows on television, and um, had a lot of standout episodes that were phenomenal on their own, but it, they just didn't flow together well. So in the end, I'd have to give Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 an 8.5. I wish I could give it a higher score. I've given individual episodes higher score, but as a season, it just did not flow together like it should have. And hopefully Season 3 works on that a little bit. Um, it was still a good season, still a good series. You should check it out. Get stars just to watch it because it's phenomenal. But um, uh, in the end, I think Season 1 was a little bit better. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my review for Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2. Remember to comment below if you agree or disagree, if you think it was the best season ever, um, or best, uh, uh, if you like Season 1 better, comment. If you like Season 2 better, comment. You know, just tell me your opinion, and remember to like and subscribe for more. This has been Jonesy from Jonesy TV, signing off.